If you're trying to prove that magic works most likely in a controlled environment with scientific methodology, you won't prove it. Why exactly? Well, I decided to create a little, let's say, program using ChatGPT because I'm not a programmer and enter certain values which I found very important, at least according to the ancient Heka or Kemetism, in the acquisition of the magical art and the uh, effectiveness of the magical art given certain, let's say, conditions, propensities, inclinations of the environment in a very dyna dynamic environment. So let's say that uh, hmm, realization as in opposition to delusion in Buddhist terms, let's say we are realized from 0 to 10 at the time of a given operation ceremony right. Let's call it 4. Knowledge. We may be very educated, have uh, true knowledge as distinction from false knowledge. We may be educated in social sciences, strict sciences, occult sciences, magical sciences. So what? 6. Perception, Sia, is very important because it relates to your consciousness, to your king, to your perceiving of the world, regardless of your belief systems. Let's say it also is including your magical potence, your daimon, or your tutelary spirit, and all the, let's say, co-opting environments and included dimensions, God, spirit, so on. So let's say the perception is 10 now. Magic will be uh, here intriguingly taken for a regulatory device. That is, it will increase the probability, probabilities of the things working. So let's say that that's the right moment, mote it be, we evoke a demon, the demon arises. What happens? There we go. Huh. Compatibility. Well, apparently, <laughs> I picked the wrong notebook. Let's see. Hmm, this one. Now, everything stays the same because my explanation, my explication stays the same. The only difference is that we have sliders here. So, realization, seven, knowledge, let's say six, perception, let's say this, and magic, the same thing, seven. Does our magic work? It doesn't, see? The compatibility in the network of dynamic laws is not overlapping. How come? Let's decrease the perception here. What's going on? New simulation, even worse. Network compatibility, magical potency, controlled environment, hello, nothing. And there, uh, bravo, compatibility, so some parts of our magic did work. How did it happen? Nobody knows, but it is effective. The demon arrives, everyone is happy, we give him commands, or he executes them, or he doesn't. No, the theurgy. The theurgy is a bit more stable in this regard uh, because the higher the laws that we're operating on, the more stability we encounter. It doesn't mean that it works always. It means that we are also encountering informational noise, astral noise, all forms of message distortions and so on and so on. So let us invoke, uh, let's say, hmm the emanation of the god Hermes. Everything is right. All is in proportions. We have the right PGMs. And uh, we call upon the intelligences of Mercury with trial and terror and efforts and all our blood and sweat combined. We try and try. Equip ourselves with the best books. Hey, <laughs> we see. We weren't too educated, but it worked, and now we increased the knowledge factor, and all of a sudden, the wave collapsed. Hmm. Maybe Hermes was busy or something, you never know. So there are so many variables that you must take into action 
Now it worked. Realization 7, Knowledge 10, Perception 3, Magic Compatibility 7. Compatibility is almost perfect. So, uh, never give up. But that's more like how it works. Thank you. And the more you increase in your skills, the greater toolbox you have, the more stability you encounter. But that's a thing of walking throughout years to acquire such skills and tools. But yet again, even if you have the greatest of tools, the greatest of skills, not all the time and not at all space it may work. Remember, never give up. Thank you.